Happy Halloween, everybody. I'm the Travel Gamer. I've come back to pray mainly to finish up on what I said on listing my least favorite enemies. Now, during the game, I had this conundrum between deciding whether the Technopath or Telepath should be number one. After going over all the videos, I think I made my decision. Starting at number one is the Technopath, and we get a good demonstration on why I hate it. That electrical ball move has killed me so many times, I've lost count. Its ability to also turn machines against you, whether it be as passive as a door, or as offensive as your own personal guns, doesn't make any encounter with this thing any easier. At number 2, no surprise, it's going to be the telepath. Unlike the technopath where we could fight him, guns blazing, we have to be careful where we're shooting when we encounter this guy, mainly because he has this ability to possess several people. And if you're like me, trying to save everybody, you know this could be a pain in the ass to do, especially when he decides to kill him off. Oh god, it killed him. With that added stress, you can see why this guy hits number two on my least favorite enemies. On to number three. It might shock you to find Nightmare this high up, but then I came to a conclusion. Look, the only way that I can manage to beat this thing is never on even ground. I always have to be elevated like so, like I'm right up here. He can't get me easily. And if that's not the case, I have to go with option B, which is running away like a little bitch. Let's also not forget that early on in the game, it could easily one-shot you. I would have some other criticism like, hey, when it pops up, it turns into a waiting game, but then again, I guess that depends on how the player treats the enemy. For me, it's a waiting game because I know damn well that if I go and try to tangle with it, at least this early on or in an uncomfortable place, I'm gonna die. It's funny though, because if they use the nightmare a little more, they kept throwing them at me, I'd say this would be my least favorite enemy, but no, they were very graceful with how they used this enemy. I don't think they overused them. I think they used them just right. But at the same time, I will say that, yeah, sometimes when it did pop up, it did frustrate me a bit. But I found at the end of the game, I was kind of hoping to see it appear more. Like, it was the big bad guy for a long time. So not to see it at the end of the game trying to stop me was kind of a disappointment. At number 4 is the Voltic Phantom, or Lightning Fuck as I like to call him. Electricity in this game hasn't been my best friend, so when you add it to an enemy that's actively trying to kill me, yeah, we're gonna see this game over screen a whole lot more than we ought to. And don't get me started on how his electricity disables my weapons. That's probably the biggest bitch about this enemy. Number 5 actually kind of changed from the original. See, well, I guess the whole thing kind of changed considering that I put the nightmare above but originally it was the etheric phantom that was above the fire one but considering how dangerous the fire one is up close and the fact that you can't really glue it down I thought you know what no he deserves to be a little above he hasn't killed me as much as the electric one but he still proves to be a challenge especially in close spaces I also think that he deserves some points for giving us our first trauma and continuously giving us the same trauma over and over, so gotta give him some points on that aspect. At number 6, we have the Etheric Phantom, or as I like to dub it, Speedy. Its fast movement and ability to duplicate itself makes it hard to hit, and after death, it has a way to hurt you. I know it seems unlikely, but that can kill you. I remember, it happened once, I put it up, but I can't find the exact place where it was, so just take my word for it. Number 7, is our good old friend the Phantom. You're not gonna believe me when I tell you this, but this enemy has killed me the most in the entire game. Now, you would think that would warrant it being my least favorite enemy, right? No, no. See, unlike the others, this one doesn't exactly have its own gimmick. It doesn't set me on fire, it doesn't electrify me, it doesn't split itself in two and trick me. No, it's just a very basic enemy that, over time, I've underestimated and I pay the price for it. Hell, if I were to do my favorite enemy, this one would probably be it. To clear up any misconceptions, the next few enemies, they're not like, they're just pests compared to the rest. So that's why they're so high, low, not sure how this works, but th they're not like this one I'm trying to get at. Continuing with number eight would be the Corrupted Operators. Now, 
they're not the most challenging, but if you give them the right circumstances, and if you're not lucky enough, they can and will kill you. I'd say this should lump all the operators together. I mean, granted, the military operators are far more aggressive and dangerous compared to the rest, but it's still technically the same type of enemy, so I'm just gonna, like, lump them together. With number 9, we have the Poltergeist, which, I will admit, I ranked it 8 originally. Kind of weird to see it's at 9. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I honestly gave it a lot of shit during the game, and I like to take some of that back. Like, it's kind of horrifying when it's going with the whole poltergeist thing, but it's, when it's attacking you, it's kind of kind of weak, but I gotta give it points for being scary. That the big 1-0 is gonna be the mimics. With these guys, they're everywhere. You can't, you can't take five steps without running into a mimic. At this point, they're like roaches. Don't get me wrong, those roaches have in fact killed me before, but they are roaches. They're annoying to deal with, and what's worse is, very much like the operators, they come in varieties. Now, I'm slumping them all together just because, one, I don't think I've, think, I've encountered the electric one, the fire one, you have the greater mimic, and then you have the eccentric mimic, but I don't think I've ran into that one, I don't remember. Basically, they're cannon fodder for the entire Typhon species. But with that being said, I can't think of any other enemy that would probably be like the iconic enemy for this game, so gotta give them that much. Plus, if I have to bet which enemy would be the marketable plushie, probably be this enemy. Finishing this list, it's gonna be a shared spot between the Cystoid and the Weaver. Now, the Cystoid has killed me, but I don't recall the Weaver ever has. If anything, these enemies are very close to just being hazards, really. If it weren't for the fact that they can kill me, i probably just leave them as hazards. I mean, yeah, technically, I threw in the humanoids possessed by the telepath as hazards, but that's because uh, I was planning to kill them. So I guess that we're stuck on this last bit, that they are the least least like, because they're not really a problem. Hell, you could, most, most of the time, you could just run right past them, so... Yeah, I mean, if they have anything going for them, they're definitely intimidating. So, I guess they have that. So, you're probably wondering, what about that giant thing that pops out at the end of the game? Why was it not on the list? Well, to be fair, I considered it. I, I really did consider it. I mean, look how big this motherfucker is. It's a big bitch. That being said... I was expecting more of a challenge from it, and when it didn't deliver, I said, no, you don't get to be on the list. Granted, yeah, your tendrils do attack ya, but even then, it didn't do jack. Like, it doesn't do much, so... I'm putting you as, like, a hazard. Like, you kinda let me beat the game without doing much, so yeah, you're just a hazard. So, to finish off the video, I decided to show just a little bit of the Alien playthrough. I mean, we've seen the game, but I'm trying to avoid as many spoilers as I can. Just a little showcase of what you can do and can't do. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I'm liking this already. <laughs> Noted. Understood. Sort of. I don't care. I get to be whatever at the moment. That's kind of fun. That's kind of cool. This playthrough will be only on alien abilities, so we are going to lose a bunch of human abilities, but damn, we could turn into fucking cups. Hell yeah! Alright, okay, we got that. The thing is, if we were on the other playthrough, all these would have been unlocked by now, but... Yeah, you know what? I think there is a trophy for unlocking all the abilities, so we could use that for later. Well, fuck. At least we can move. We're gonna end up, we're gonna end up fighting something that I can't move with. Check it out. I'm 
I'm a box. I'm an actual chatterbox. <laughs> I guess the downside is in this playthrough, a lot of guns don't like us. Like, they really don't like us. That one, however, I think is already damaged, so, not, you know, no harm, no foul. Meaning, we're not going to have any gun allies. Sadly. But, if I had to say something, we do get this little ability, which I think is a good substitute. <laughs> oh, don't feel too good when it's on the other foot, huh? And like I said, yeah, we lost a bunch of human abilities. That includes leverage. But with this mimic ability, I think we could squeeze on through if we use it just right. Hmm. This is uh, going to take some time to get used to. Especially the hacking ability. I can't tell you how much I miss the hacking ability. The hacking ability made getting it from place to place easy. Now, without it, it's like, fuck. Get the damn thing. Up the chair. There we go. God damn it. All right. Okay. This is my life. I also got this little... I think it's the same blast ability. I'm not sure what it is. But, hey, uh, here's a little present for me to you. I remember you. You remember me? You probably don't. This is a new playthrough. But, here you go. Get fucked. I tried killing him with, you know, psychic powers, but I felt shotgun was appropriate. Don't mind me. I'm just a trash can here. I don't mind trash cans. <laughs> I think this is a good little preview for next year, so thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next year. Take care. Please like and subscribe, and have a happy and safe Halloween.